Aircraft's first D-7A Wedgetail got its MESA radar installed. The Royal Air Force's first Wedgetail A-1, E-7A, airborne early warning and control aircraft is taking shape following the installation of its distinctive MESA, multi-role electronically scanned array, radar. The installation of the first advanced electronically scanning array sensor, ESA, on the UK's Wedgetail A-1, as the E-7A is called in the RAF, took place at STS Aviation Services Birmingham facility. There, a team of 100 highly skilled engineers is working to convert the Boeing 737-700S, previously operated by commercial carriers, to their new military role. The changes they are making to transform this aircraft into an advanced airborne early warning and command WAMP, C, system are extensive, but the most obvious and significant is the installation of the MESA radar antenna that allows the E-7A wedgetail to monitor large volumes of airspace, 360 degrees around. This installation of the MESA sensor is a tangible demonstration of the progress being made toward the phenomenal capability of Wedgetail entering RAF frontline service. This highly complex technology is undeniably exposed to the challenges facing global supply chains and I am grateful to all involved in the program for their continued work and dedication," said Air Commodore Hicks, Assistant Chief of Staff Capability Delivery for Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance Aircraft. The Wedgetail's primary and most distinctive sensor is the multi-role electronically scanned array, or MESA, radar. Developed and manufactured by Northrop Grumman, it is housed in a distinctive fin on the aircraft's spine. Installed in a reinforced fuselage section to support the extra weight, the sensor will provide 360-degree coverage. This powerful radar system enables tracking of air and sea targets simultaneously, including the ability to revisit high-profile targets at fast speeds. At the same time, MESA provides a fully integrated, world-class, long-range identification, friend or foe, IFF, capability to maintain continuous surveillance of the area of operations. Procured in March 2019 to replace the recently decommissioned E-3D Sentry, one of which was acquired by the U.S. Navy and three others were ceded to the Chilean Air Force, there were originally going to be five aircraft. But due to budgetary constraints, the final order was cut to just three aircraft, 